Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, the hell? for the love of... Now is there not the time go. to show off your invisibility cloak. Ahoy everyone and good night. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... First mate Rick here, at your service. And yeah, I should probably fix the pre-stream the pre-stream scenes uh, tech uh, chat box because I'd forgotten it was over there, or it was uh, yeah, it was active there in the first place. Uh, let me reselect the game again. Yep, there we go. And uh, yeah, welcome to the game we'll be streaming today and for a while to go. The operative, no one lives forever. The game of the year edition, actually. And if I recall correctly, this game is running through. Uh, was it through GOG or it's not the original version? I know that. Or was this a fan? That I I, in <laughs> I installed the games that I intend to stream pretty far ahead of time, so sometimes I forget what the actual origins are from them. But uh, yeah, I, if I recall correctly, this game has been fan patched, and uh, yeah, it was made by Monolith Studios, who today would be known for the Shadow of Mordor games, as well as Gotham City Imposters, uh, the f two of the Fear games, and uh, let me double check here, yeah, Aliens vs. Predator 2, which is a very good game considered, though it's it is not online available in, in, at the moment, I think, due to uh, yeah copyright bullshit. Yeah, uh, did you also say they also made Matrix Online? Yep, the Matrix Online. I've got a list of their games here on TV Tropes. Uh, Blood, Blood 2, Claw. Is that the Claw that I think of? Yes, it is. Uh, Blood is one of those uh, old school shooters uh, akin to Doom and such. It... <laughs> but yeah, again, a studio with quite a, a reputation. And, and this is one of their earlier games. It's not... Yeah, it's somewhere in their mid-earlys, but still. And, uh, yeah, as is clearly obvious with the spilling flower in the background, this game takes place in the 60s. Uh, oh, dear. Mission. Okay. Let's go with easy difficulty, because this game can... This is one of these old, the old school shooters where you don't regenerate your health and such, so... Yeah. <laughs> And it's been a spy game as well. Yeah. Let's see. The assignment. An unknown assassin is killing off Unity elite operatives. In spite of the danger, Kate Archer and Bruno Lawry still have a job to do. Could this be Kate's first shot at a mission fraught with peril and intrigue? Or is it just another routine assignment? A crisis has arisen. Unity's undercover operatives are being killed off by an unknown assailant. It seems likely that there's a traitor within the agency. Report to the war room for a full briefing on the situation and a tactical overview of your upcoming mission. Do not be late. Following the briefing, stop by the training facility to hone your skills. And yeah, most if not all of the missions will come with a voice briefing like that. And Never yeah, mind. Noon, that is a lot of tie good titles. They're, apparently they're working on a Wonder Woman game at the moment. Okay. Also... Wait, wait. I don't think she ever had a game. Uh, probably somewhere, but at least not a modern one, that's for sure. Also, uh, report to Santa's workshop for gadget training. Of course, this game, spies, gadgets, we're going to get the both of them. Oh dear. Chunky early 3D hands. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sinky. Inland? What? Are they reusing the models? <laughs> no, it's just a family with a, a lot of triplets. Wait, right here you... Oh, oh, what? We go. Fox Interactive presents a model that was not made for widescreen. <laughs> a model animation that was not made for widescreen animation. <laughs> oh dear. And also, what is apples? Oh, uppies. What, what the heck has it? Are you right in the noon? I'm confused. Kit Harris, voice of Kit Archer. Are you dancing as well? No, I'm as well dancing. I'm you, Hillian. We can see your arm still. Uh, dear. That's a big shower? Damn. Hello. Bruno, how's France? Did you collect any new bullet holes? I know how you love to be shot at. I'm teasing. I'm glad you're not damaged. Did you at least encounter an exotic temptress or two? Really? What was her name? What do you mean you don't remember? That's horrible! Of course, I'm famished. Are you buying? Then it's a date. Let's say Maximilian's in half an hour. Ciao. I'm not very happy, you know. It's not like I thought it would be. I never promised it would be as exhilarating as your former trade. Only that it would keep you out of jail and make it easier to sleep at night. More wine? You're the first female operative Unity has ever employed. The committee is old-fashioned. They need time to get used to the idea of a woman in this line of work. I know all that, but at this rate I'll be a bloody grandmother before they give me a real assignment. You can always go back to burglary and pickpocketing if you can't live without excitement. Damn it, that's not what I'm saying. I just want to be challenged. I'm sick of wiretaps. I'm sick of eavesdropping on boring strangers who may or may not pose some trivial threat to international security because they forgot to declare a ham sandwich in Heathrow. I don't have the patience for it. It's not what I'm good at. It's never fun paying one's dues, but we all have to endure a bit of frustration and tedium now and then. It builds character. I think I've paid my bloody dues. Is that what you think? God knows I loathe sermons, but I'll tell you right now that you'll never stop paying your dues. Not ever. I'm sorry you're not happy, but you might as well get used to it. Nobody owes you a damn thing. You make it sound like I'm some spoiled child. I'm not asking to be coddled. I just want a chance to prove myself. You're right. 
I know it's been hard for you, but I'm confident you'll get your chance. All the petty politics in the world won't hold you back. They've done an outstanding job so far, haven't they? You see? What did I tell you? Probably just one of the committee members needing a babysitter on short notice. Ye of little faith, I'll see you there. Why don't we go together? I have an errand to attend to first. You go on ahead. And there we go. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, you literally... I thought he meant something else. <laughs> what? Fine, I'll be picking you up. <laughs> yeah, the lizards so and the goat fairy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's see here. This game is very much played like a... <clears throat> A movie with the credits and everything and I just gotta say I I don't think I've played too many games or at least shooter games from around the time that this game released so well, I say that most of the games we've been streaming lately have been around the 20s or the 2000s and this game did release at that time as well but uh, one thing I one thing to note is that uh, this game the characters actually will blink from time to time instead of just staring dead ass at each other yeah, I think there were some games even before this one that started to experiment with that, but was, there was mostly Japanese games. But as I consider how old it is... Miss Archer, they're expecting you in the briefing room. They... Wrong they way, did... Miss Archer. As I, like I was saying... <laughs> you as well. Ah... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Right, as I was saying, for, because you have all it is, the face animation are decent. The, the, the guy was a bit rough, but Kate's is surprisingly good considering how old, old the game is. Yeah. Since I put all the effort on her. Yeah, this, I would compare this game somewhat to Singularity in that they put in a lot of extra work that they didn't really need to do, which elevates it above the average shooter, average shooters. Yeah. <laughs> also, that little toy there, that is a thing that we might get our hands on. And yeah, briefing room, this way. Agent Archer, how thoughtful of you to join us. I hope we aren't inconveniencing you too awfully with matters of international security. And here's something else. We actually have dialogue options. I'm sorry hey. if I kept you waiting. It won't happen again. I seem to recall hearing that before. You'll not have to hear it again. Let us hope not. Well, if it isn't the inimitable Agent Lowry. Sorry I'm late, Smithy. You're looking dapper today. Spare me the disingenuous flattery, old boy. It doesn't suit you. I was being sincere. It was the one polite thing I could think to say. <laughs> You're still upset with me, aren't you? I assure you, I have nothing against you personally. You've served us well for many years, but perhaps too many. I firmly believe it is in Unity's best interest that you retire from field operations, and I will continue to campaign to that end until you accept an administrative position. I'm not upset with you, Smithy. I just don't like you. I do understand your concern, but just because you're too old for the field doesn't mean that I am. <laughs> until I'm declared unfit for duty, I will continue to prove it. I retired voluntarily. Of course you did. Perhaps we should dispense with the pleasantries and get down to brass tacks. Fine. Lights, please. We lost another agent this afternoon, bringing the total to seven operatives in ten days. It is our firm belief that someone is systematically eliminating our undercover agents, which leads us to believe that the clandestine operations section has been compromised. It seems we have a traitor in our midst. Do you suspect anyone? We suspect everyone. Seven operatives. That's over half the active list. Why weren't we informed sooner? You're being informed now. This situation has unfolded rather abruptly. The assassin left a lily, a regal finale to be precise, on or near the corpse of each victim. Mean anything to either of you? Volkov. Who? Dmitry Volkov. 
The regal finale is his calling card. The name's familiar. What do we know about him? He's a right bastard. Anything more specific? Just what's in his file? Born in Kamchatka in 1921. Distinguished himself as an academic prodigy and master chess player by the age of eight, by which time he'd also earned notoriety for refining various torture techniques on neighbors' pets. It seems he joined the NKVD in 37 and served as some sort of disciplinarian in a gulag near Kiev. His whereabouts during the war are unknown except for a brief mention in 43, when he was spotted by an OSS officer at Leningrad interrogating prisoners of war who would later disappear without a trace. Ah, yes. I remember this fellow. We've had dealings with him before. Sometime after the war, he emerged again, this time in the employ of Smirsch. He's personally credited with well over a thousand executions, spies and Soviet dissidents for the most part. In 61, a failed assassination attempt left him without an eye. He was shot in the face at close range by one of our finest agents. You flatter me, but I shouldn't have missed. He escaped by throwing himself off a 70-foot cliff into an icy river. It was presumed that he survived as no body was ever recovered. In fact, rumor has it, he's currently working for an organization calling itself Harm as Director of Executive Action. I don't have to tell you what that means. What do we know about Harm? Unfortunately, there's very little about them in our files. Well, despite the obvious risks, we still have a job to do. In this case, a very important one. Wet work. Precisely. And after this recent catastrophe, the two of you are our only available assets. To be perfectly frank, Agent Archer, you're only getting this assignment because we've no other choice. Matters of such delicacy aren't really the sort of thing we would usually entrust to a woman. Emotional inconstancy and assassination do not make especially good bedfellows, if you take my meaning. Ick. Let me punch him! Let me punch him! <laughs> but, yeah, uh, after, the after the previous bit, uh, you, you may have noticed a little pop-up and a ping. Uh, that basically, if we play nice with the jackass, we get more intelligence at the moment. I'll try to surpass your expectations. Considering that I expect you to fail miserably, you shouldn't have to try very hard. Enough of this. Time is of the essence. Stop by the toy shop before you go. They have some new gizmos you might find useful. Don't dally too long, though. Your flight leaves at 6 p.m. Where are we going? Morocco. Agent Archer, uh, what does harm stand for? I haven't figured that out yet. See if you can't find out. And be careful, both of you. Okay, I like him. But I don't like the yeah. other one that seems to have an eyebrow stuck. Yeah, that, that pose. <laughs> uh, he's chronically skeptic. <laughs> yeah, no, I think in the credit, like in this era, it was probably normal that. Gosh, world domination prevention map. Secrets to seize defensive uh, positions to stop evil takeover. <laughs> <laughs> Be the good guy, stop evil with SJR products. <laughs> SJR Map Makers Inc. SJR? SJR? That's some familiar for some reason. It might be a joke for something I'm not aware of, but yeah. <laughs> uh, this game has style, this game has humor. It, this game is beloved by many. And yeah. here, another one of these unnecessary things. <laughs> Garden Patrol. Wendy machines, really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait why am I feeling weirded out by wending machines in a spy facility? Because poisoning drinks is all too common a thing in spy movies. <laughs> Actually, they should have they should have slapped a uh, a sticker on the front of it. Definitely not poisoned. <laughs> Just for the joke of it. I did not think it like that. that. You go through the training course before embarking on your first mission. There are many nuances and features you may overlook otherwise. 
If you prefer to skip training, just head to the exit. Okay. Always nice to have the option. So, yeah, let's go through the tutorial. Okay. Just for the I sake of it. I said this directly. Uh, wait, wait, from what EG was this out? Uh, 2000, I think. Let me double check. Okay, for well, that's around where skip. <clears throat> Pardon? Well, skip the tutorial was sort of new or were just starting to come around. <laughs> Bloody hell, what? Why am I so burpy? Uh, okay, I'll have to write down the composer's name because I was I'd looked that up during the intro. Probably, I'll not want to forget that to check out other work that he's done. Uh, let's see, paper, yeah. paper. Oh, yeah. Did you say you had some joke earlier? Do you want to share? Uh, not really a joke, but well, the, the joke was more on my expense. Uh, let's see, Come, stupid thing, right? There we go. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna carefully put down noon on his comfy chair again with a lollipop. Uh, but uh, yeah. Or something. <laughs> uh, I went. <clears throat> uh, I went out to the shops uh, earlier today, and uh, only now after dinner did I notice that my pants had a freaking massive hair in the back of them. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I've been walking around with. Uh, yeah, some bits exposed at the back for a bit. <laughs> oh, you poor thing! Uh, oh, you poor thing! Okay, uh, not the apps. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, he's talking about the and <laughs> the game engine. Uh, right. <clears throat> Is Unit Engine this old? No. <clears throat> And yeah, it was 2000 that the game was released. November 9th, to be accurate. Welcome to Basic right. Tactics. This course comprises several areas, each with its own lesson. You must complete each lesson in order to proceed. Now step up to the active station designated by the flashing light. Your crosshair will change to indicate an item that can be activated. All right, now open the door to the next area. Yep. Bystanders will often speak to you if you activate them. Sometimes they will share useful information. Sometimes they just want to chat. Be sure to conceal any obvious weapon or they'll be too distressed to talk. Try activating Leon. Well done. All right, now open the door to the next area. Nothing more to say. If you want to skip a cutscene, simply press the space bar. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to need to do You've completed the basic field tactics course. You should now continue to the advanced field tactics area, uh, you... where you will receive specific instructions uh... for your upcoming mission. Note that new simulations will be prepared for you before each mission. Are you also, right? just, yeah, ju just the fact that they slapped this stuff together with freaking plywood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, advanced training is this way. Uh, I forgot on that a little bit. Yeah. Here we Struggle go. With you into all the time. Uh, where does it? I never worked with any Unity and such. However, if a person can do something good with a program, I will applaud them. Armor is the blue bar. While on a mission, always keep an eye out for miscellaneous intelligence items that might be of benefit to us. Here are some of the items you should look for. The more you recover, the better your mission rating will be. Pick up these intelligence items to proceed. Yep. Blueprints. Dossier. Briefcase. 
Letter containing classified information. Envelope. Roll of film. Some files. And reel-to-reel -reel tape. Why did you just called upon to arm or disarm explosive devices? Simply activate the device to enable or disable it as necessary. Right. I was saying, for some reason, I just imagine all those belonging to Noon. <laughs> uh, his top secret files. Uh, let me just double check something. I. Yeah. Left, uh, <laughs> controls. Keyboard. No. Configure controls. There should be a quick save and such, or not. At least not enlisted. Let's see. Disarm these mock explosives in order to proceed. Okay, I was about now to say. Open the door to the next area. It would have been quite something if they'd actually put up real explosives. Yeah. <laughs> See, the new Unity Accounting Division blueprint. <laughs> okay. It's often advisable to move as quietly as possible to avoid detection. The faster you move, the louder your footsteps will be. It is therefore advisable to walk or move in a crouch when you're trying to be discreet. Uh, also, Noon, how is the audio balancing? I just realized that I'd forgotten to turn on subtitles. If they are in here, that is. Let's see, interface. Uh, frame rates, cinematic aspect, subtitles there. Okay. Fade bodies, always run, difficulty easy, heads up display. Okay. Yes. Yeah, some of these options I think were patched in with people uh, by with the fan patch. And audio great so far. Okay, that's good. Why <laughs> bottle? And yeah. Crouch with C. by the material upon which you're moving. Be careful of tile, metal, and other hard surfaces. Whenever possible, favor carpet or turf. All right, now open the door to the next area. Sneak past Elwood to avoid st by avoiding stone and metallic. But yeah, different surfaces, different foot and sounds. Very much thief. Wow, you're pretty light-footed. If you're not sure what to expect, around a corner, it is generally safe to step out for a moment to see what's up ahead. As long as you duck back quickly, you probably won't be spotted. Of course, the closer you are to an enemy, the more likely it is that you'll be seen, so listen for footsteps or conversation before leaving cover. Now we need to get past Walter. Are you going to turn? No. Proceed to the next course. Oh. Oh, it actually included a door for the, the people around the sides. <laughs> that That's also nice. Otherwise you'd go... Oh. How the hell are they getting out of there? I mistook the sinks for anvils. <laughs> they aren't that dwarven here. Let's I, 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 want, I want to say, ask, why are they everything in anvils? They realized, oh, those are not anvils. Those are, those are sinks. Uh, to all employees, do not abuse your phone privileges. All personal calls must be logged and sent to accounting on the second Tuesday every, each month. Thank you. Okay. Also, more uh, orange fizz, orange flavored drink, 10 cents, and tasty cola. Also, ten cents. I'm guessing. Yeah, ten cents. I think I'm more. Uh, yeah, I'm more of an orange fish. Yeah, this fish cola to say. gives me headaches if I drink too much of it. Orange, I can just keep going. Use your flashlight. Yeah. To your way to the door. Let's, let's I'm. A, I stopped start. drinking those, those kind of uh, sodas. Uh, let's see controls. Which one is the flashlight? I drink a fizzy drink still. Just it's not. It's not really. Uh, I have to say, if you have to compare it to soda, 
you will notice it's have way less sugar and different kind of sugar. Like the sugar comes from the fruit that squeezed into it, and not from mm. sugar cubes. L. Okay. Also, a little detail that's nice is that they actually show a beam. Yeah. Ah, that's why they, they did that ET tail. Both for realism, but also for yourself to be able to keep a track of your own uh, light beam. Yeah. There we go. Firing range for weapons training. That way. Uh, let's see. So, do you think the CT-180 will get a decent field rating? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Have you seen the commission form for that thing? They want everything that the TR-60 and TR-61 can do, all in one device. But, hand me that atomic retroscopic analyzer thingy, will you? But they don't understand that Clancy's team was killing themselves just to get the TR-60 up to spec. And that was back when they had twice as many designers with four times the development time. Not only that, but the TR-60 was designed as an infiltration device, and the CT-180 is meant for emergency extractions. So have you heard what Carrington's team is working on? Yeah, an ultra-quiet vacuum cleaner. If that thing's really supposed to be some big secret, why the hell do they keep talking about it in the Unity newsletter? Good point. <laughs> but yeah, after this we'll get the gadget lab, I think. Yes, what the heck were they all about? How are you? Smithy wants me to run you through a basic firearms refresher course. Okay. Let's see. Let's start with the P3.38 air rate with the revolver, which is the middle one, I believe. Because it's a revolver, it can't be adequately silenced, but its simple design accommodates a wider range of ammunition types than most automatic pistols can reliably handle. Yep. Can't be silenced, but has access to a lot of ammo types. Okay. So... It's very chromed! <laughs> if that's the correct term. We seem to be lacking our crosshair at the moment. I don't think nicely. Go. Uh, options. Game. Blood. Fate bodies. Da, 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 weapon sway. Crosshair. Okay. Use crosshair. Yes. Wait. What is it missing then? Hmm. Is there open sea off or something? Let's have that at max. Yeah, why is why is it missing? Hmm. Okay, well I'll try to figure that out later. No. Arms P38 9mm pistol is a rugged little automatic that was favored by Allied commanders during World War II. It features a 10-round magazine and can be fitted with a silencer. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to go with, uh, let's, we'll just have to go with, uh, out the crosshair for now. There we go. And move back. And lastly, the Hampton Carbine. Quiet gun. Okay. What was that on his desk? 
Uh, not sure. There we go. Was that a dirty magazine? <laughs> Maybe. Miss. Oh. Oh, no. There we go. It just took a while to return. There we go. And out of ammo. There we go. And let's call it there for that. It reminds me of old Nintendo 64 James Bond games in Half-Life. Yeah, this game is a bit of a mix. Yeah, I, I can see that. But it's still its own thing. medical reports. Dum Dum rounds typically cause bleeding wounds that are characterized by an accelerated pulse. Uh, yeah, I'd say getting shot <laughs> with, with what is basically a hollow point round would cause people's heart to start beating faster. Yeah, uh, ain't those nowadays illegal? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I think the only ones who are uh, allowed to use them are policing forces because of the increased stopping power that they have. Let's see. Subjects frequently report being deafened by their own heartbeat for a brief uh, period. Okay, there we go. Uh, we've got full metal jacket and dum dum rounds. Now let's see what is the next function game uh, con there, control. Let's see. Next function. Next function. Left control. Okay. There we go. We just click okay. select it, reload. And then said you could activate the crosshair? I'm guessing it you was... You shoot through certain walls and objects. Of course, doing so may affect the accuracy, range, and velocity of the shot, but it's sometimes preferable to dispatch an enemy before he sees you. Keep an eye out for these materials. We did have it earlier, so I don't know why it's vanished now. Again, it, it is an old game. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe if we turn it... Is it some... Hmm. Game, crosshair. We turn it back on. Okay, odds. Okay, but yeah, we can shoot through mater some materials, like... It should be able to shoot through this. There we go. Or was I just hitting the white of the... Yes, I was hitting the white the, the white areas of this. Uh, but you can also shoot through wooden doors. Like that. Yeah, there should be the pickup cursor appearing over these, but why is it not now? Liam, please remind operatives that they can use the zoom in and zoom out keys with scope weapons for a closer view of a distant target. Golly, forgot to. And those controls would be... That's... Next function. Look up, look down, zoom in, N and M. Okay, that's odd. Toggle, zoom, right, second mouse button. Oh, that's the middle mouse button. Okay. Be careful not to injure civilians. If you kill an innocent bystander, you will fail your mission. You will also fail if three or more bystanders are slain by enemy fire. If you're ever in doubt, look at your crosshair. It will change to indicate the person you're targeting is friendly. Use the holster weapon key to conceal your weapon rapidly. If your weapon is already holstered, hitting this key will draw the last weapon you had out. Good. How did that not count? <laughs> Uh, 
And yeah, like I said earlier, pointing a gun at someone will freak them out. <laughs> no shit. Okay, gadgets. And we lost our guns there because of course, for safety. from knife to lockpick and yeah just gotta click it multiple times let's see the technology division please be prepared to move your, cub your cubicles from sec section 4 to section 5 next Wednesday to make room for the accounting division okay what's going on with this accounting division <laughs> Leon please be sure to inform all operatives that most key lock packs can be shot up as well as picked Santa And yeah, dummy. Oh, I got worried for a moment. <laughs> uh, um, um. How yeah. much force do you use with that knife? Uh, enough. That's it's what time to get sober after all. Yeah, that, that was a reference to uh, a former myth proven damn true. Actually, if I you people it was proven are wrong, hmm. uh, no, no, it was proven true. Like, if you're on top of a very tall skyscraper, don't drop the coin over the edge, <laughs> it will kill. Let's see, where... Or rather, it can go from killing to seriously harming someone. And the higher up it is, the worse it gets. Okay, we could just use the mouse wheel. Hello? There we go. A judicious Nothing. agent doesn't leave corpses lying about as they tend to arouse suspicion. Judging by your slight frame, you won't have much luck hauling bodies away. So we've come up with this special body-removing powder just for you. Sprinkle a bit of it on dead tissue and voila! The cadaver will vaporize almost instantly. Wait, what? No, I guess that was a miss because... Uh, well, that was it's not because an it's actual a dummy. body. <laughs> yeah. We'll get plenty more gadgets like that. And that should be everything. Let's see. Time mission, 15 minutes. No, da, da, da. detected once. And we found 16 items of intelligence, which only two are really th a thing. Uh, let's see. We should be able to just head for the exit then, which is in the opposite corner, I believe. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Turn back. Hmm. Turn back. Next, uh, next. There you go. Red, uh, red. No, 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 no. Go back to the owner's machine. I'm thirsty. <laughs> we left the coin in the okay. gadget lab. <laughs> <laughs> and <There's> yeah. Been years. <laughs> Santa's workshop. They stapled over it. Okay, I will give them credit. They've been dim They've been very. Humorously creative with their Q version. Yeah. All right. All ready to go. Eh? Well, have a safe mission and come back in one piece. All right. There we go. Proceed to the exit. Report. All done. And 
Rank Super Spy. Okay, I, I'd forgotten you get ranks in this game. Not that it actually does anything, I believe. No reputation bonus. Intelligence has discovered that the American ambassador to West Germany, Morris Monroe, is marked for execution by an organization calling itself H-A-R-M, or HARM. The assassination attempt is expected to come on the last day of Monroe's upcoming holiday in Morocco as he is leaving his hotel. There will likely be multiple assailants. It is imperative that Monroe survive the attack. Be warned, though, that the ambassador is extremely nearsighted and almost deaf, so you won't be able to rely on him to realize that he is in danger. You will be positioned in a residential building across the street from the hotel. Your job is to pick off the assassins before they liquidate Monroe. An ambassador that is practically... <laughs> uh, let's see. Protect ambassador, <laughs> rendezvous with Bruno, head for the coast, and then get out. Now, let's see. Yeah, we can select our equipment. We don't have much uh, available at the moment, but we can get more stuff as we yeah, get through the game and find stuff. Oh, yes, actually descriptions. Let's see. Bolt action, .45 caliber sniper rifle with in uh, integral and suppressor. The Hampton Combine is one of the world's only true si uh, truly silent firearms. And it's the P-38. This 9mm semi-automatic pistol was used ex uh, extensively by Allied covert operatives during the war. It is easily concealable and very reliable. It has a 10-round magazine and can be fitted with a silencer. I'm pretty sure that's the very same thing that Santa said. <laughs> and there. Agent Archer's signature weapon is a small, lightweight .38 caliber 5-shot revolver. While admittedly a bit slow on the reload, it can readily accommodate a variety of ammunition types. It is also easy to conceal. Okay. Yeah, let's just go with our defaults. Yep, which is so we'll have something to drink. Okay. Which is the Hampton with the silencer, the scope, the shepherd, uh, coin, Beretta, and yeah, body remover, five pieces of those. So, are you enjoying yourself yet? Immensely. Sure you're not bored? I've waited nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. It turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant. He'd sold us out for a measly 50 quid. 50 quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. But spies are rarely well compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot up his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Monroe's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me, uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime, the time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? Uh, yeah, he will help us or not if we this. Uh, because we're lacking a bit in the crosshair, let's let have him help us. Yeah, and also... Her swearing caught me off guard. But oh, let's, let's be honest. Spies in, the, in these kind of games and era usually don't swear. Yeah. Okay, so F6. Uh, there's the crosshair again. To your left, on the far balcony. I want to go home. But we've only been here for two days. To your left, on the far balcony. Why not? So foreign. Straight Where ahead, to the left of the tower. Country. I know that. But Canada's a foreign country, too. And isn't this foreign? But I thought the reason you wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah, 
Why don't you try to relax and enjoy yourself? I'll bet you have a lot of fun if you just stop worrying. You think so? Sure. Maybe you're right. Of yes, course I'm Ernie, right. Let's walk time. down to the Medina and see some sights. Okay. Okay. To left, on the far balcony. Yeah. There will be a lot of them, as you can guess. On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. Again? On your left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony. Finally! I, I was getting a bit worried there. What was you? Left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony. Okay, so both this heads to the right of the tower. And this one goes immediately into the far zoom, okay. <clears throat> On the roof to your right. Up there. I think that's eight guys we've shot already. On your left. Coming out the door on the nearest balcony. Let's reload. Yeah, there, there are some texture issues with the, well, the text and numbers here and there. But yeah, it, it's, it's an old game. It takes work to get it to work. And yeah, that's what you get when you're not supposed to shoot Down someone. Street on your left. And yeah, how the fuck he doesn't notice that? <laughs> Don't ask me. Yeah, I just realized your crosshair is back. Yeah. Uh, let's keep it as yellow for the moment. It's a bit different than the usual <laughs> green or white or black. I think it's yellow and green. Let's see this extra ammo behind us in case we need it. From down the street on your left. Yeah. The... Right. But seriously, how is this guy in a position of anything when he's this oblivious to the world around him? There must be a hole in my pocket. Yeah, just be glad there's a hole in your pocket and not in your everything. Remember, this won't last too long. On your left. From down the street on your left. And we're probably slaughtering another family of a uh, lot of twins. <laughs> What if they have noticed by now that someone has been shooting them down their guys and mass? From down the street on your left. I'll cover him for the next stretch. Get to apartment 12 and wait for my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon or you'll cause a commotion. There we go. Let's see. Unity memo. Itinerary for Ambassador Monroe's uh, Moroccan visit. Uh, sightseeing, golf, appointment at Madame Sasha's. Okay. And let's see. Mad men. The rest I can't translate. The Monday Times. Oops. Stuck on something. Let's see. Room 14 was it, I believe? We can knock around to get some dialogue, I believe. I locked myself out again. How irritating. <laughs> Wait, 26 again? Another 24. 25, 26, 28, 29, 27. Yep. I think you're getting your numbers messed up. <laughs> because we hadn't didn't have duplicates. Yeah, or maybe uh, uh, so duplicates, it was American girl. You mean the girl who refuses to wear shoes? Yes, her. I wonder if all American girls despise shoes. It seems very strange, but America is a strange country. <laughs> she may be crazy, but she is attractive. <laughs> ah, but you're invariably attracted to crazy women. All women are crazy. Hmm. Shh, 
Not so loud. Yeah, Kate probably still has a few pennies to toss from up here, jackass. Yeah. Okay, I thought you'd get in yeah, a conversation from some of these, but apparently not. Hello? Arm file 2287. Agent Archer. Born 1942, Glasgow, Scotland. Name Catherine Ann Archer. Father Lord William Archer. Mother Catherine Ann McDougal. Uh, Mc McDougal. And there's a bit Wait. missing. Hold on. No, she's not a pirate. <laughs> she's Scottish. Whether that makes her better or worse, that's up for you. No, no. It, oh, I see. I think I know what they did. To me, they eat. I think they may have done a female Sean Connery. <laughs> uh, about, yeah, let's see. Number nine. Is there really none of these that can get chat, chit chat from? Hmm. Okay. Uh, holy. Uh, well, the, ho the wall is holy, yes. <laughs> I'm in position. Good. He's almost there. Let's see. For, uh, file 2286, Kate Catherine Archer. Our records, no thanks to Bishop, who spilled coffee on in the filing cabinet, indicates that Archer is the daughter of a wealthy English lord and a Scottish noblewoman who died shortly after Archer was born. Lord Archer quickly whittled away his health and inheritance, leaving the family destitute. Okay, so how the hell do they have info on... Well, they have a traitor in the system. Now, where is he? he comes. Get ready. On your right, coming around the building. Oh, there's another window. Well, now we know what happens there. Uh, did it auto save there when we? No, it auto saved there, which means that we have to do this bit again. <laughs> yeah, no checkpoints. Coming out the door on the far balcony. But we've only been here for two days. That still was a hit. Coming out the door on the nearest balcony. So foreign. On the roof to your right. Uh, yeah, where they come from is randomized. Yeah, I should have put down a save. Uh, this will only take a few minutes, though. Uh, yeah, let's... We should have opened that second window immediately. So what is the... Dad burn it? <laughs> I don't think I've ever. I don't think oh, I've ever heard that be used as a a line before. <laughs> on your left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony. So I'm presuming that Bruno is up on the roof. Let's see. To your left, on the far balcony. It's on the roof to your right. But yeah, I'll definitely need to keep in mind to quick save every now and then. On the roof to your right. Like that. Very much. Hmm. Actually, I I get the feeling this game uses the same engine as Unreal, or maybe an upgraded version from that, because it also, if I recall correctly, Unreal also has the pop-ups in the upper left corner. And a bit of a flash when you pick something up. I did not know that was a unique to Unreal. That's nah, not unique, but it is the. Down the street I, on your left. That is the first game I believe I've seen that in. Hmm. But then again, I I haven't played every game under the sun, so it could have been it could have popped up somewhere else before. Sometimes I wonder you if you haven't. <laughs> I've played a lot of games, but not all of them. Yeah, yet to see if he likes you have 
what was it like almost like 20 times more games than me <laughs> shut him in here <laughs> it's always nice when they just make different motions like that huh yeah they shot him in the arms or into the tailbone uh, more accurately his lower side i think but still yeah. right pun what pun what, what pun are you on about noon on your left street level also, do you really need a sniper rifle that up close that's a freaking uh let's that's a dragon off i believe not the front door of the hotel yep, that didn't happen before so yeah where they come from is randomized coming out the front door of the hotel Dude, you just saw someone. <laughs> okay, that looked awkward. It looked like he. Street level. At that, uh, uh, he's dying. Did you seriously shoot him in the foot? Yep, <laughs> and he reacted differently on because of it. Street level. <laughs> I'll cover him for the next stretch. Get to apartment twelve and wait for my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon. Or you'll cause a commotion. There we go. Quick save. Okay, now at least we don't have to bother with checking every door. Yeah, it's not but, select a weapon. But I was trying to say, uh, uh, you had to have a moment. It looked like when you shot him, uh, one of the early ones, that he was about to, on his yeah, dying breath, sh medicine, sh show off, uh, shove off his own rifle up his own arse. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> And now, before I vanish, I will perform a vanishing trick with this rifle that's almost my entire length. <laughs> oh dear. And also, I think I know what kind of person that uh, guy met. Was it a comic for... Okay, I don't know if it is... They like this term to be used, a uh, hippies? I don't know if that's a bad word nowadays or not. Heading toward you. Watch for him to pass in front of the right window. Mm -oh. Hello. I could have just touched him, <laughs> reached out and touched him, basically. I don't think hippie is really considered a bad term right now. Uh, I guess it depends on in what context. Yeah, like it, so many things do. Yeah. And... Lost yourself a customer. This guy is don't... too much. You wanted to speak to the manager. On your left, coming around the building. Oh dear. Not again. Second story Where window. Where are you, you pesky little dime? So he's basically deaf, but he can still hear that Second stupid <laughs> that stupid coin land. I'd better find it quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures. On your left, coming around the building. Heading toward you. Watch for him to pass in front of the right window. Dude, you just... You, <laughs> you look straight at me there for a moment. On your left, coming around the building. Bloody heck, uh, of escorting... Oh, what is his on name again? Left, coming around the building. Marmaduke? Yeah, Monroe? What, what, or, or, you, uh, no, you're uh, meaning a character, I believe. Yes, uh, very, very old by now. Uh, An old Mr. man Magoo. who's... That's the yes, one. Was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn, they must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. All right. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers. Again. They did for 2000 game. They did very good work with her face. Yeah, she is the main character after all. Yeah, like the only few games that almost reached a good quality level was Unreal Tournament, but the one I think of did not come out until a few years later after this one. And uh, looks like we've killed the uh, four brothers of that one henchman in Austin Powers. <laughs> Wait, what? In Austin Powers, there is also, I believe, uh, a, a, there's, a, I believe, there's also a character with a, a fez and a white <laughs> and black suit.
I'm trying it's... to remember the movies. Can I... Then again, when Aust Austin Powers said popular, I did not like uh, his movies. Go, okay, that's number six. But let's say this Austin's Powers humor did not align to. Uh, yeah, the kid version of me. I found it, or teenish version even. I, I found it very really obnoxious. We don't want to spoil our trap, do we? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I mean, yes to the first part and no to the second part, sir. Shut up. Just do as I say, you idiot. You look like you need a monkey. <laughs> Isla. Excuse me. I have a very fine monkey for you. Only twenty dollars American. Sorry, I don't want a monkey. What do you mean? I don't want a monkey. Why not? Because I don't like monkeys. Now get that filthy beast away from me. Are you insulting my monkey? I'm sure it's a perfectly excellent monkey, but I don't want it. Now please leave. I'm very busy. Ten dollars. No. I wouldn't want the dreadful thing even if it were free. Free? You want my children to starve? If they're hungry, I suggest you feed them the monkey. This is a valuable monkey. My wife would kill me if she knew I was offering it to you so cheap. You don't seem to understand. I don't want a monkey. Infidel. We have the other hand. This is hard rain is falling everyone down. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hello. And yeah, like it showed earlier, you can shoot off locks as well. Of course, that's noisy. Running for cover. There we go. Uh, that line with that the entire conversation with the monkey is quite infamous among the fans. <laughs> it does a reference. See. Let's see. Kate, remember that you can shoot keyed padlocks if you don't happen to have your lockpick handy. Of course, doing so tends to make noise, so be careful, Bruno. Yeah, they hung that up in case you uh, went with selecting your own equipment and forgot to get the lockpick. Let's see. The enemy should be alerted now. That means there was a lot of love and dedication to this game done. Yeah. Now we got the revolver. And not just a simple cash grab or trend follower. Just they wanted to do a spy game and then they wanted to do it proper. And I've not seen those hats in ages. And somebody think of another cartoon character. I'm sure what I don't know if he had had the same name in English. Uh Marocco Mulle. Can't say I know that one. Wait, hold on, I think you do know him. A, a mole with red coat and a fez on his head. Working with a squirrel with a blue hat and white coat. Uh, Secret Squirrel, I believe that character is named, or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Cartoon Network character? Yeah. I do... I, re I remember a, a mole dressed like that, but I don't remember anything beyond that. Can't even get decent reception in this place. Let's see. There's still more of them around, I believe. But let's not kick up too much of a fuzz at the moment. Oh, wait, uh, he's at the bodies because he's checking them. <laughs> oh, we're... oh, no, the bodies are around this corner? No. Yes, they are. Oh, wait, did you forget to... Ha <laughs> yeah, they're all alerted anyway, so now they might as well serve as bait. <laughs> oh, hello. Seems we got to him in time. Let's see. I'm not hearing any further footsteps, so I, I think we might have gotten them all. I 
just checking around for any intel items. Possibly if, for uh, lore. I just remember something. So we spoke about hippies. Internet was invented by a hippie. Let's see. Dearest Martha, it is with heavy heart and tear-stained cheeks that I write these words. I am not, not the man you believe me to be. In truth, I am a Russian spy. I regret to inform you that I am returning home to my real wife and that I will never see you again. Sorry to have misled you. Regards, your husband, Clark. Okay, that is going in deep cover. Let's see. I was waiting to see if he was chatting with someone. Because you can overhear conversations between character between uh, some of these. Uh, okay, I had to ask. It has deep covers like that actually been done, or just a movie? And it, it's just a movie and book troupe. I think they have. There have been cases. Would you care for a frosty beverage? No, thanks. Perhaps later. Hello. Harm alert. All agents be on the lookout for Unity agent Bruno Laurie, a 58-year-old uh, Englishman, distinguished, balding, prefers tweed, <laughs> report sightings to executive director Volkov. The... Someone's had a bit much. Wait, that should... Don't make him notice you. I think that's Stan. <laughs> Look, there's only one thing I can criticize it, this is that some NPCs and mobs are get away. way yeah cloned and that I think that is part of the joke with it since they are oh hello they're emulating the old uh, movies where so many characters were just <laughs> the same. Well, yeah, they usually had the same uniform. What's but the even the... Way did you have in mind? Something quiet and romantic. It's for our anniversary. Well, in that case, perhaps Azru might just be the ticket. It's quiet and less touristy than Fez. That sounds marvelous. Do you have any brochures? Sure, here you are. Thank you. Oh, well, someone's about. Nope. Someone's about to become a widow. Uh, yeah, sorry, you lost yourself a customer. Who we'll survived? That's good. Let's see. 2289, Kate Twin Archer. No records exist between 55 and 63. Uh, however, activities of the fox, a notorious female thief, coincide with Archer's known location during the periods. Could it be that Kate Archer was once an infamous cat burglar? If so, what went wrong? And yes, does it spoil? She was. And I think we might have missed one of these files then. Uh, let's have a check. Uh, yeah, inventory... What did they say? What went wrong? Did, did they want to stay a cat burglar? Uh... If she'd stayed a burglar, she probably would have been more, uh, would have been uh, the type that Harm would try to recruit. Okay, is there nowhere for us to see what intel we have gotten so far? Because, yeah, I think we we had 68, six, seven, we, yeah, I think we missed one file somewhere. I wanted to go to France, but Clark insisted on coming to Morocco. Uh, I have some bad right. news for you then, miss. <laughs> this this is exactly what I needed. That's Clark, ain't it? Probably. I want to get out and see the Medina, but it's so hot outside. It's, oh, here's 88. Uh, in 54, 1954, Lord Archer committed suicide. Kate, then 12 years old, entered the Brighton home for Little Wanderers, where she remained for six months before disappearing. Observation. It seems Miss Archer's history is not unlike that of you know who. Coincidence or perhaps a fateful portent. Consult Madame uh, Consul, uh, Consult Madame Sasha for insight. Hello, Madame Sasha, the same one as on the uh, 
any sign of her yet? Yep. Nope. Damn, I gotta pee. Well, go then. What if she shows up while I'm in the restroom? Good point. Can you hold it? I guess so. <laughs> Hello? What? <laughs> oh! Wait. Okay, I'm impressed. That little whimperish <laughs> I get so. First, you shot him in the throat at close range. They shot it. The second, you also shot in the throat, right at the jugular, from further distance. The bullets are not my favorite. Uh, wait, what? Bullets are not my favorite. Then why do you stick your foot out like that? <laughs> Make it an easy shot. Go. I, I don't really like to do that. I, I hope I expect it to start singing Gangnam Style. <laughs> oh, that's a dumb, dumb round. Yeah, when we, when you, when we can hear, uh, when we, we can hear the heartbeat, that means we've been hit with a dumb, dumb round, which penetrates armor. Let's see. Roger, Lloyd, uh, Lloyd has obtained a portion of the Unity CT180. Uh, device and a page of what appears to be an instruction manual. We'll forward both to your office, Francis Javier, security chief. Okay. Yeah, I believe if we can find this, a, certain, uh, a certain collection of uh, a certain collection of Intel uh, items that we can get that uh, CT180 at one point. Though I don't think okay. I've ever gotten it without using cheats. And oh, yes, there's really? no run option. Oh dear. Yeah, Th these dumb dumb bullets terrify me. Oh, contains piece 89G7 of the CT180 and a tattered sheet of paper upon which is written Leon, your wife called. Your mother in law will arrive for supper promptly at 7 p.m. Uh, don't forget to pick up a bottle of wine. If you to if you'll tolerate the recommendation, I'd suggest Marsuan du Renel's Zenvendel. Uh, any vintage before sixty should suffice. Fifty-seven is uh, especially superb, as more recent years betray a distinctly undesirable fruitiness. My own chemical analysis, analysis suggests the use of lower quality pesticides as the chief culprit, Santa. Okay, yeah, you never ask me about wine because I don't know jack shit about them. Oh, there's more there. Those goons in the hall act like they've never seen a woman before. Can we get close enough? They look like they're supposed to have a conversation. We have to say, I think one of them saw you. Yeah. But they had such a slow reaction, I thought, oh, guess they didn't see you. But never mind, they were just slow to react. Yeah, they, they do have to give us a window to get back into cover. And yeah, they re they can still spot you that quick. Yeah, they, well, we work very close, but they can still spot you very quickly, even on the easy difficulty, huh? Yeah, though in all games where you had to sneak, it's really merciless that if they spot you, they instantly attack you usually. So I would go applaud them for giving some form of mercy. And I'm guessing if we come this way, we would have been able to get up close enough to hear a conversation, but oh well. I guess that counts for a bit of replayability that you can... You know, Sneak up on other character. Sneak up on other goons to hear them actually chatter where you haven't been able to before. I can already imagine the goons start to hate you for being the worst knock knock pranker ever. <laughs> knock knock, who's there? <laughs> Point forty five. <laughs> oh dear. I was thinking more of it. every time you knock and walk away, they open one. Okay. 
What a who the heck's knocked? And it happens over all the entire building. Okay, I think that's where we're supposed to meet Bruno. And just checking around if there's any intel here, which it doesn't look to be the case. Sometimes things will be underneath, so we will, might yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for that as well. And I don't think there's actually a run option in this game. Let's see. Option. Or at least I don't remember one. Hey, I uh, would have said there, there oh, is one, no. but it's very noisy. Always run. Yes. Let's see. Yes, that's much faster. Okay. Uh, what is the walk button then? Let's see. Sidestep. Sidestep. Toggle is enter. Okay. I'm not seeing Alt do anything. Oh well. Let's see. Bruno? Late as usual. I was beginning to worry. You always worry. Can you blame me? You're like an errant child. And you're like a fussy aunt. You could at least leave my gender intact. <laughs> a fussy uncle, then. Thank you. I'm having fun. I can see that. But don't get reckless. We're not out of danger yet. I know. This place is crawling with thugs. Damn! How did they find us? We've been betrayed. It's the only explanation. Are you sure you weren't followed? Yes, positive. If they know about the hotel, they'll probably be waiting for us at the coast. We'll have to risk it. If we aren't aboard the Abigail when she sails, we'll have to get out of Morocco on our own. Or you could stay here. Permanently. Volkov! Get down! Let's go! I have dreamed about this day for six years. Bruno! I only regret I do not have time to make your demise more eventful. After him. This is all my fault. If you hadn't been worrying about me, he never would have got the drop on you. <sighs> Silly girl. Worrying about you is all I have left. Don't say that. I've always had plenty to die for. You've given me something to live for. Then live. In your memory, perhaps. Bruno! The girl's in the lobby. Kill her! But why didn't you kill her, Mr. Volkov? I meant to, but my hunger for revenge distracted me. Let that be a lesson not to be ruled by your emotions. Excellent advice, sir. Well, I'll go shoot her now. Make sure there are no witnesses. You mean we should kill everybody? First, kill everybody. Then, destroy the hotel. Let our enemies search the rubble for answers. They shall find none. And yeah, now we have to chase... <laughs> now we have to chase down explosives. Me. Uh, let's see, Kate, you may sometimes come across intelligence items that you cannot recover because you lack a necessary gadget. If you want to collect these items, you need to come back with later with different equipment. Bruno. Uh, yeah, we can't get this ledger because we don't have a camera. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Gotta keep moving. Gotta, well, save the civilians. I'm already Miss Bruno. It, was he really going to say who's there when I shot? I already shot him in the back. Uh, let's see, nothing new. No, I don't think I don't think items, uh, intelligence items, will spawn uh, in areas after certain points. Yep. Dude, yeah, like this, like the, the, like the tutorial said, we we can't have too many civilians die by their fire, so we have to hurry with this as well. Uh, any explosives here? 
No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to say you. Here we go. Quick save. Disable that. I'm pretty sure that if we accidentally shoot the explosives that they'll go off, so let's not do that. <laughs> okay, that was locked. First okay. air. <laughs> uh, can we actually get to the upper area there? Oh, that was you. Okay. I'm guessing the, I'm guessing the gunfire drew the other two closer. Uh, you might want to get down, buddy. Save my life. That's no. Nothing here. Oh, oh hello. Thank, thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. Another one somewhere. And that's that. Oh, for love of... I thought you failed. From me, Volkov. I'll find you wherever you go. Kill her, you incompetent fools! Here you are, do not move! Bullets are not my favorite! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> A gray suit for once. I, I don't think there's much I don't think there's much difference between them beyond the uh, aesthetics. Nothing there. Quick save. I'll take that. Let's see. Arm memo. To building services, I regret to inform you that the, mo that the rodent infestation remains severe at facility number 4529 on the Moroccan coast. Animals entering via abandoned well. Please dispatch fumigation team immediately. Morale is at an all-time low. Okay. Let's see. Me appreciating the game models and what they pulled off with what little they had. Yeah. Yeah. But they said that they did a lot. Yeah. Oh. And again, I think this game did. Oh. I think this game came out on two discs back in the day. I know because I have the physical copies. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Like, <laughs> nice shot. I don't know how common it was, but I do know it was very few games that had multiple DCs, like... But Border Skate was their popular fun. It was also infamous for needing four or five discs. And upon thing, the second disc actually functions... Are you insulting my monkey? Oh, hello again. I spit upon your monkey. You are a horrible person. I think the monkey's kind of cute. <laughs> He's at it again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Wait, as uh, I was going to say, the second disc actually doubles as a music disc. Oh, nice. Also... Oh, <laughs> so there was someone more that replying. Okay, as long as we can get the first shot off and kill them quickly, we can keep them quiet. Yep. Lead rain. Wait. 
Is leg drain a thing? Yeah, it's uh, it's not a real thing, but it is a term we used for uh, heavy fire lead rain because it's raining lead bullets. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's what I meant. Asked about. I, I, I'm even more it? worried for lead raining from the skies. It, it's enough that, that you can do that in uh, Warhammer Fantasy and to the mm -hmm. Warhammer, where you literally make massive chunk of lead molten metal rain from the sky okay i'll have to definitely look up, look up a video of that oh is it the mages of metal do that also known as alchemists okay also i'm going to take a moment to change up the controls a bit let's see toggle run and walk let's turn that to left shift crouch can be control uh, toggle always walk caps lock okay uh, yeah that should do a lot better because yeah i do want to catch some of the conversations that the, the mooks have with each other because they can be quite humorous <laughs> the mooks yeah <laughs> the thugs None of them heard I, me. I, I know it means just. I just did not uh, expect you to use the term. <laughs> I'm guessing they're up in an area that we can't access up there. So let's just move What's on. What's going on? Why is everybody shooting at each other? Just keep your head down. Okay. Oh, they're now uh, <laughs> all covering except for the monkey. Let's see. Quick save, just in case. Oop. Yep, got the... Okay. I was going to knock on edge every door just to see which one's open and not. Okay, piece 4G of the CT-180. A half-eaten chicken, salad sandwich, and a creased copy of the Fearless Hyena comic, issue number seven. Wait, maybe it was a, that was what we saw on the gum training table. Maybe. It was reading the fearsome hyena comic? Oh, well, did he, did he throw down those barrels for cover? I think so. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Oh, uh, don't there we see it again. I don't want baskets. We're going to meet your maker. Oop, bad timing. Okay, that table is thick enough to actually block the bullets. But not as thick as that guy running up to Mars. Uh, Wait, he dies? First, he's... Sh Sunglasses disappears, then himself. <laughs> well, he knows he was no longer cool enough for sunglasses. Also, is the dynamic crosshair turned on? Uh, let's dynamic? See. In, in that it actually spreads as you keep firing. Let's see. Display? No. Uh, they mentioned it in the tutorial. Let's see, game. Double checking. Pardon. Hmm, pardon. Let's see. Another jukebox. Hmm. Uh, I might look for that some other time, but for the moment, uh, this will just do. Also, I believe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Is it a thing? We... Oh, yeah. There was actually a PlayStation game. I think we'll get which one. That's actually required there are two CDs to play. And I think it was another one that actually needed three, but I also forgot that one's name. Let's see. Damn yeah, it. I think, but I think the, the last game to require more than two CDs has, might have been World of Warcraft. That needed hmm. five to Wait, install. No. Uh, let's see. Harm memo to Executive Director Volkov from Assistant Director Cartwell. It has come to our attention that Unity is developing an airborne sleeping agent. 
Attempting to obtain sample as it may help with your insomnia. <laughs> Uh, also, I think this file was about Bruno, but yeah, we kind of got interrupted. But I think we can cool. check back on intelligent items later. I hope so. You cannot get away. Ah! I'll still have alerted anyone nearby, I think. Yep. Wait, what? Um, so no, Final knew. Fantasy 8 and 9, I better think he means. Oh! oh where did you come from? Ah. Up the stairs, I probably, but still. I got confused when he, he said, enter the chat. He's shooting us. Uh, let's go to this thing, get the zoom, and send his to him to his doom. Okay, where's the other? I know there's one more. Oh, there you are. He's presenting yourself. <laughs> now then, continuing Slime on. Slime for a Dutch rhymer. Anyone else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're dealing pretty good with our health. Armor we're losing rapidly each time, but it's common enough. It Covered enough that it's sold at street vendors. I don't actually remember it. Can we swim? Yes, we can. Okay, let's you have a look. You do have a, a, a brief meter, so swim up. Let's see. Anything, anything hidden around here? It feels like they would hide some intel in this place. Yep. Let's see. Blueprints where a hazardous waste disposal facility near Tangier marked property of Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Okay. We're full on ammo, so there's no need for the box. Sounds like the, uh, there's a blueprint that was left by a construction worker by mistake. Probably. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see, head directly to the coast or see what this thug knows about Volkov. Also, why the hell do you look so freaking depressed? Were you kicked out of the car? Or did Volkov steal your car? Dear, possibly. Huh? Who are you? Good afternoon. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. I have been trained to resist all forms of torture. We'll see about that. Do your worst. I'm going to ask you nicely. Where can I find Volkov? Nice try, but I'll tell you nothing. <laughs> Ruthless woman. Have you had enough? Yes, thank you. But I still won't talk. This is your last chance, laddie. Tell me where I can find Volkov. I won't ask again. You won't find out from me. You don't even know where he is, do you? Yes, I do. What was I thinking? Why would Dmitri Volkov tell a lackey like you where he was going? Dmitri and I are very close. Very close. Mm-hmm. And I don't appreciate being called a lackey. I work very hard. It's not easy being a criminal, you know. There's a great deal of pressure. Goodbye. Wait, wait, don't go. I don't know where Volkov is, but I do have something you may be interested in. And we get it's some intelligence. About 15 minutes to get to the airport. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Excuse me? Not on your life, you scoundrel. I'm an American citizen. We have morals in America. I don't understand what you're talking about. This is unbearable. Pull over this instant. I'd rather walk to the airport than listen to this film. 
but yeah, you could torture men every time, and every time it would be more ridiculous. To be a civilized country. Well, <laughs> oh, for love of. No sign of her. Are you sure she's coming? She'll be here. If she gets away, I will kill any man she leaves alive. Am I understood? Explicitly. Mm. Yep. I don't know if you can get any more intelligence items out of that guy or not. Uh, I don't have a guide or anything about what to say to get stuff. I only knew from the first bit, if you're polite, they will give you extra intel. But again, I will need to find where the hell we can actually see the old intel. Forget to save. Yeah, let's see. Body armor, body remover, which hasn't been really needed so far. And just to be extra sure, there. Let's see. No real way to really sneak around here. Oh, they'll get. Why was it a burp? I haven't drank anything fizzy. I don't have water. Water. Hey. <laughs> the wine is stuck, but yeah, you you can blow up some of the cars in this game by shooting the fuel tank. Also, I think they know we're coming now. Yeah, what do you have to say? I think you blew your cover. Well, I blew up the car for sure. Okay. Just using this to scout since we don't get binoculars. Let's see. I, I, I hate the sound already. <laughs> Oof, uh, finally luckily it's out. Enough. Okay. I think there is a bit on the side here where we can go for uh, some extra intel. Uh, but it involves something we can't really get, ac uh, don't really have access to at the moment, which would make getting it a lot har uh, a lot easier and a lot less uh, explosive. Yeah, don't trust you with explosives. Let's see. Oop. Keeping a wide berth. Bye bye. Wait, what? <laughs> that that doesn't make sense. What? It's it's a game that plays as a movie. Of course, it's going to go for rule of cool. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. To Assistant Director Cotswold, this memo is to alert you that Building Services has repeatedly ignored my letters regarding rodent migration into Facility 4529 by the Bennett Well. Consider this a formal request for corporal punishment, preferably public, for all responsible parties, as well as paycheck deductions. The amount to be determined by you, of course, until the situation is corrected. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the whippings will continue until the rats are gone. But, um. but yeah, that that's the second piece of intel we've had about a well through which rats are going in. Uh, but I'd say an archer fits through as well. And that's oh dear. <laughs> yeah, some some intel isn't just jokes and such. You can actually get useful info out of them you know, on you know, where to find things or ways to sneak in. Yeah, wait. Oh, I had an idea. Let's say noon inside the well. <laughs> and train and, uh, the rats. Let's see. 
Intentional harm employees, as compelling as the thought may be, do not attempt to cross this minefield without the benefit of a mine detector. You will most likely blow yourself up, therefore, thereby requiring us to find a replacement for you, which is an expensive, time-consuming process that I would rather avoid. If you do happen to survive, I will kick you myself, <laughs> Dmitry Volkov. <laughs> oh dear God. Uh, what would you yeah. to say? Uh, I've forgotten already, but yeah, there's actually intel for us to grab there if we can, well, survive a minefield. Wait. So, uh, let's uh, 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 ask new nicely to carry over. I get the feeling if we go like this. I was actually expecting to be blown up. Okay. A fire extinguisher. Assistant Director Cotswold. Yesterday I... I in it, oh, initiated. I thought that I was an M. It looks like an M. I initiated an internal investigation recording the supposed expandability, expandability directive from the executive director. Due to the delicate nature of the issue, I will forward results to your home address. Lyle. Okay. And, and we should be able to yes, get back. And yes, I mean you. You're the only flying fairy here. That was actually easier than expected. I thought we would have to reload a few times and scrape, yeah, <laughs> scrape eight, yeah, art, yeah, scrape Kate from the floor. Wait, are you telling me you didn't see the mines? Now there's there's disturbed patches of ground, but it doesn't mean that there's a mine underneath there. You actually need a mine detector to actually see them. Let's see. Okay, I did not know that. The no, fairy is no yeah. longer a fairy. The goat fairy is now a fox. Let's see. Here's that well. Wait, wait, Otherwise wait, we could... wait. Hold on, hold on. Take a second look at the well. Oh. I, never mind. I, I thought it was glowing green for a moment. No. Let's see. I don't... I don't think we can get in through the main gates, so you would be able to... But you might be able to get in through here, but there's probably an ambush. Also, why does this keep... Actually, what did I change? Uh, I swapped it. I changed the, uh, the button that the next function is on. So what is it now? Where did it... Uh, let's see. Next function on the side. Okay, that it... There we go. And I think we've been hurt. Nope. Should we take the well? Uh, it looks like it might be the only actual way in, so yeah. Okay then. Oop. Hello, new <laughs> new outfit. Let's see. There isn't really much space to sneak here. Is someone there? Housekeeping. Go ahead, you have made my day. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Frozen. Oh, hello. Hampton yeah, MLP 9mm SMG. <laughs> Which I think uses the same ammo as this one. Uh, Oh, where, where did you come from? Around the corner? Yeah, I, I think yeah, it, it uses the same ammo as the the P38. Who is there? Ow. Maybe he wasn't dead before <laughs> at the top of the stairs, he's dead now. Yeah, it's a bit hard to sneak hey. around here. Uh, uh, what? Nothing. Just making sure you were awake. 
dick. <laughs> it's a bit hard to sneak around here uh, when there's a lot of hard surfaces. But the, oh. Yep. <laughs> it's just going down the stairs. <laughs> you were killed. No kidding. Really? You were killed? Oh no. I thought you were asleep. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's going to be hard to be sneaky when all of the floors are stone. Okay. Is anyone else hearing a droning? Yeah, I hear too! Okay. Let me just take care of this guy. Now it's gone. Okay, odd. Oh, must have been an... Must have been an, a noise... An audio effect that got uh, locked or something. I must be seen. <laughs> That music hey. means that we've been that we've yeah, been uh, found out, or at least we're into combat. Okay. From noon, senpai. Surprise <laughs> sleep led to Spencer. <laughs> Let's see then. That's back here. That was closed before, so that must mean that one of the guys we got. He Just got me again. Uh. Oh, that's son. There's a nasty anger to be shot from. Yeah. Right Let's from below see. the shin. Yeah. yeah, I was... Fuck you, then. I was trying to see if I could knock him out, but no. <laughs> We were a bit too noisy for that. Okay. Let's get rid of the... Not have the dumb, bu dumb bullets. AKA the hollow rounds. And just keep sneaking through as best we can. Uh, wait. Didn't you walk away from intelligence down there? By the box? Did I? Let's... There. The brown one glowing. Oh. <laughs> Contains piece 27B of the CT-180, a spatula and a bottle of santile, uh, suntan oil. Okay, yeah, I'd missed that one. Yeah, but even then, that didn't sound like an intelligence to begin with. There we go. Another one gone. Are you with someone? No. We need to find some armor. Ship out there. Should we tell Mr. Volkov? Uh, it's probably just a freighter heading for Tangier. Should we report it? Just in case? Why bother? It's up to you. Let's watch and see what it does. If it looks suspicious, we'll report it. Otherwise, I'd rather not bother Mr. Volkov. Sounds good. Yeah, Volkov would probably kill you for wasting his time. Okay. Yeah, but he sure could also kill... kill you for not doing your job either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we shoot one of these, the other one is going to get alerted. So, let's take this one. There he goes. Yeah, they won't Lovell. always be uh, as dumb. Order again? Hmm? Why am I burping? <laughs> oh, contains a non-functional TR-61 device. Hardly surprising, considering the poor reliability of the TR-61, which owes primarily to an insufficient uh, development budget, overly ambitious design specifications, and unrealistic user expectations. Is that supposed to be a jab at someone or something? Hmm. It might be. Also, can we turn this off somehow? Wait. I think this job, I think in general, it might 
Hey, yeah, but the game community back then. But wh where did you come from? Oh, he opened up this. That the. Uh, I think it might be yet to what theory on that Pub game publishers expect something great and and um, impressive for a very small budget. Yeah. It has gotten better, but it still happens. Dude, you really did not notice the corpse lying <laughs> over here, dude. Maybe. Uh, nearsighted? Is not as nearsighted as the ambassador. Oh dear. And yeah, we're probably going to get chewed out for him getting himself killed. <laughs> Let's see. Let's refill this thing. No. I think I already knew who the traitor is. Oh, uh, ooh. And there, dead. Okay, I didn't know those were guys were over there. <laughs> yeah, we desperately need some uh, some body armor. Uh, quick save is still the closest. If it looks suspicious, we'll report it. Otherwise, I'd rather not bother Mr. Volkov. Sounds good. Okay. Also, they did a good uh, thing that is a report that, that they wrote a report if it does something suspicious. <laughs> but it can be good to report every single thing, but also <laughs> but at the same time, hmm. you take time to report them. This means. Less time mm. keeping an eye out. Out, shot in the back. Yep, and dead. What is this? Yeah, we need to be really careful. Holy. Yeah, this is not an easy game, but. Let's watch and see what it does. If it looks suspicious, we'll report it. Otherwise, I'd rather not. Here we go. Kill them before you get shot off. Yeah, we definitely need to be careful, even though we are on easy difficulty. Who is there? Yeah. So far, it seems a bit more impressive spy it. game than all the spy games I've seen. Yeah, and it's definitely an option to fail the stealth bits. There's, well, stealth is completely optional during most of the game, at least. So, oh. So that even if you get spotted, you can still make progress by just fighting your way through. Uh, uh, the, the game is supposed to be a bit of a action comedy, correct? Yep. And yet it feels like it pulls off the full spy genre better than actual spy games. I... Especially from what year it came out. Go. Now wear some bloody body armor. That could have easily killed us there. Yeah, I think one more hit and you may die. Two if you're lucky. No, no please. Well, Volkov is making good on his word. There we go. Uh, let's see. Only half of the intelligence items. Okay. You really missed a lot. Say, the Morocco assignment was an unmitigated disaster. Report to the war room for debriefing and try to control your temper. Well, I think we can classify Morocco as a complete disaster. I knew we were asking for trouble sending a woman and a fossil like Lowry on an assignment yeah. like this. Let's not rush to judgment, shall we? Rush to judgment? I think the facts speak plainly enough. Ambassador Monroe is dead, and we lost another operative. 
Albeit one who should have been put out to pasture long ago. And all we have to show for it are a belligerent, over-educated captive who knows nothing of use and Ms. Archer here, who has demonstrated an alarming lack of competence in the field. She has killed like three to four dozen men at this point, dumbass. I think you might want to be a bit more careful with your word. Uh... I'd like to remind you that Volkov was lying in wait. Someone betrayed us. Indeed. And it seems that someone may have been your charming mentor. Bruno? What are you talking about? The evidence is largely circumstantial, but it is nonetheless compelling. That's crazy. In light of information unearthed during our investigation in Morocco, we now believe that Agent Lowry, Bruno, was in league with these harm chaps. But Volkov shot him. Perhaps to silence him. Or perhaps Lowry was demanding too much in exchange for his treachery. Alleged treachery. Lowry was a personal friend and one of our best agents. Unless he's proven guilty, he deserves to be honored, not slandered. In any case, it seems reasonable to assume that you weren't meant to escape, Miss Archer. Bruno was not a traitor. Can you be sure? Every man has his price, every woman too, I expect. When a man reaches the end of his career, it's only natural that he begins to worry about the future. I suppose some men of adaptable moral constitution even find it in themselves to resort to treason. What's your price, Mr. Smith? What are you insinuating? Merely that if Bruno were capable of treason, then so are we all. Enough! It is neither our prerogative nor our intent to judge Agent Lowry at this juncture. We will continue our investigation until we discover the truth. In the meantime, Archer, we must call upon you for another assignment. Although we call upon you reluctantly, I assure you. We've been contacted by an East German biophysicist named Dr. Otto Schenker, who wishes to defect to the West with our assistance. We know that Dr. Schenker is working on a secret Soviet weapons program, although the precise nature of his research remains a mystery to us. He has promised detailed information on the program in exchange for his freedom. It hardly seems necessary to underscore the great importance of this mission. We've had a devil of a time recruiting reliable spies in Berlin. It seems the Stasi have ears to every keyhole in East Germany. Which is why we're taking extra precautions. What sort of extra precautions? It's what we call a domino effect exchange. You'll meet with a series of contacts, each of whom will provide a piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Because the contacts don't know about each other or your mission, the vague information they possess will be meaningless to them, and by extension to the Stasi, should they get their hands on it. Perfect. We've also arranged a diversion to help cover your escape. Our man on the inside, Werner von Haupt, will place explosive charges at several locations in the record storage area. You'll need to locate these charges and set the timers. We also require that you infiltrate the main library and photograph certain sensitive documents pertaining to Dr. Schenker's research, in case he's not as forthcoming as he's promised to be. Von Haupt will present you with a disguise that should get you inside the test facility where Dr. Schenker will be working. Locate the doctor and get him out. Keep in mind that if this mission should succeed, we will have struck a mighty blow to the Soviets. We're counting on you, Archer. I won't let you down. Well, you can hardly botch this job as badly as Morocco. Yeah. You might want to stop by the training facility and test out the new gadgets the toy makers have prepared for you. Gotta love that they call the testing department, or they nicknamed the testing department, the toy makers. <laughs> Yeah, that's a flower. It's a bit of an odd angle <laughs> with the top of it being so flat. Uh. Okay, and that is where we'll have to call it for the moment, though, because we've yeah, we've passed the actually have uh, we. We started 
How late? Did we start late or not? I don't think we started we, late this time. We started on time. We were five minutes over time. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at OBS's recorder. Yes, we are. Uh, we are, we did start on time. I, I, I've gotten used to the fact that we start late. The, but yeah, that's where we'll have to call it for today. So let's quit. And yeah, this for some reason this game doesn't want to play nice with either form of game capture. So I literally have to, well, <laughs> use an adapted uh, desktop capture to help capture it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, let's just turn that off and head over here whilst we go look for someone to raid. So open up the browser and let's see. Thank uh, let's see. Zoe from the Yogscast is still streaming uh, Orcs Must Die 3. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have ta -ta -ta, Halloween4545 who's streaming Tom Clancy's six, uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. Can't say I've heard of that. We have Tuck Scaly Thale is streaming Noita. Uh, Viking Blonde is online, but he's at the net just chatting bit at the moment. Let's take a look. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Short special indie reserve, short games on a long stream. Okay, sounds like he's basically going to do uh, his version of a showcase Sunday. Then we have Shrimp OS, who is streaming Arma 3. WBPL76 is streaming Mordheim City of the Damned. Oh, that's Warhammer. Okay. We have Shanker Crab, who's streaming Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Let's see. Kaizo Iron Mon. Okay. Then we have. Oh, uh, someone I know from uh, Discord, but I don't think we've raided before. Uh, the only Blue Empire, uh, <clears throat> to others they're known as Lilith, I believe. Uh, they're streaming Final Fantasy XIV at the moment. Hmm. Uh, that, yeah, hello in chat, uh, Tatum. <laughs> uh, nice to have you around. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> hello, Tatum! Oh. Wait, uh, do you mean that there's an act that you're act yeah, actively streaming with them at the moment? I Uh, let's see, just if, just for some others, to, 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 we have Fuzzy Freak streaming Red Dead Redemption 2, yeah, okay. Uh, Brother Monroe streaming Ultimate Admiral, uh, Dreadnoughts, can't say I've heard of that. Let's see, okay, I'm not live myself, but I'm on stream with her. Okay, uh, shall we go rate them then, for Well, let's rate them. Dips for the fridge. <laughs> Okay, uh, here we go. Copy the name. Uh, move to our own channel. And slash rate. There we go. And before we start it, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Noon, for hanging around. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, thank you, Tatum, for showing up as well. I saw your name pop up in the chatty program a while back. Hope you enjoyed the... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed some time of 60s era of violence. And uh, I see you hiding there as well, Sentai Tadpole. Uh, thank you for hanging around as well, even if it was silent. And of course, as always, thank you as well, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah... Uh, that'll be it for our double stream for today. I won't be able to stream tomorrow. And after that, I still have another two days of work because someone that's scheduling really seems to hate me. Uh, which means that, uh, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday. That means that we'll only the next time we'll be able to stream will be on the weekend. Um, oh dear. Yeah, I'd say for that we try one more episode of No One Lives Forever and then start with the next Shantae game. Sounds good to me. Okay, in the evening. So, yeah. No One Lives Forever and more Shantae. Uh, but, yeah. Until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks.
And watch out for sea hens. <laughs> that is going to be your new thing, huh? But it do sound tasty. They're violent. Laters. Laters. <laughs>